Good evening, everybody. This is Rich down here on the river. And what we're going to do today, or well, this evening, is we're going to, we always got some leftover pulled pork. So we got some leftover pulled pork from a cook over the weekend for our Facebook gathering. And <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to add some cheese and I'm going to dust it with a little bit of the rub that I used during the smoke. And we're going to wetten it up a little bit. Not that it's dry, but we're going to wetten it up a little bit of choking on smokes, Jason style. Um, barbecue sauce. I'll leave, uh, you just saw us at his birthday party for his nine-year-old girl. Uh, we did rabbit and we did that smoked cheese taste test. I'll leave those eye cards up here throughout the little bit of the frames coming up. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to mix this stuff up and we'll get back to you. Everybody, I told you I'd get back to you when we mix it, but instead of just explaining to you, I guess I forgot to just show you. So you're going to pan a little bit closer here, bud. Just a little bit. Sure, sure the cheese. All right, what we're going to use is we're going to use a little bit of Mexican blend we have left, a little bit of mozzarella cheese we have left, and we're going to use some of the uh, Kraft three blend cheese just to cheese it up just a wee bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little rub in it, just a little bit because then we'll fluff it up. This is just something I come up with. I just everybody seems to be doing. Uh, haven't done any kind of. Uh, this is my version of you know pot pie. We're gonna keep it barbecue instead of adding all that carrots and stuff to it. So put the cheese in it, and then for you who haven't had the Mexican blend cheese, it actually has its own little little taste. It's a little different than your normal blends. So we'll put a little bit of mozzarella cheese in it. Probably about. I don't know, a handful. Let me try to stick my glove in there. And a little bit of the triple cheese. Okay. Now we're going to use a little bit of Mr. Jason Stiles barbecue sauce, which is homemade <clears throat> but, you know, by him. Oh, has a good smell, doesn't it? Yeah, it does like that. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to drizzle just a little bit. We'll start with that and we'll see if... Uh... Looks good already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it don't look too bad. It smells pretty good. It's... Yeah, we tried it up, up at his place. It's Check him out, folks. He's a... Check him out, folks. He's a um, a Navy veteran. He was in Guantanamo Bay and stuff, and uh, he's a real nice guy. All right, Bonnie. My phone kind of had to leave some pictures and stuff. Got a little full memory. So what we've done so far is we got our Mexican blend cheese, our mozzarella cheese, our three blend cheese, and a little bit of barbecue sauce. Now, if you want to come around here and get a shot of this, this may look. I'm gonna have to add a little more cheese. A little more cheese and a little more barbecue sauce, I think. <clears throat> so, what we'll do is we'll get back to you when I have this mixed up to where I like it, and we'll put we're gonna, we're gonna do a little cornbread stuff on top. We'll get back to you then. All right, back. We got the pork in the cast iron skillet. We're gonna fix, and now we're gonna make up some cornbread. We're just gonna use a box of Jiffy from uh, wherever. Three quarters cup of milk, one egg's already in the bowl. And uh, this is gonna be pretty good, I think. I've never done this this stuff before, so I, I think it's I think it's gonna be pretty good. What do you think, Mom? Oh, it should be good. Should be good. Should be good. Yeah. Well, we got some fried potatoes and onions in the back. Miss Kate loves her fried potatoes and onions. Yes, I do. We we'll get that made up. Get this stuff mixed up real good. So we're gonna like add a twist to it. I mean, I know pot pie supposed to have like pie crust, which you know me. I'm gonna try and twist it up a little bit if I can. What do you think, honey? Always. You know, I think it'll be all right. Okay, anyway, so we got one egg, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add. You guessed it. The It's Incredible by Mike Petrie. It's good stuff. 
This stuff, I mean, I'm afraid to use it because I'm going to run out. I got I to get by more. This is the last of it. So we're just going to, and those who haven't tried this stuff, it tastes like, a, how do you describe it? Like a sour cream potato? It almost tastes like a ranch sour cream um, type. I can't really explain it. All I know is it's really freaking good and it tastes like ranch and sour cream. Woo, look out, people. Got a little more to it there. I'm making a heck of a mess. So, sorry it's been a couple days. We had a little cookout here, our face first Facebook gathering ever of my, of our group. And uh, we didn't get no video of that. So what we're gonna do first, is sprinkle this down a little bit more mozzarella cheese on top, just a little bit. And then um, a little bit more of the three cheese. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on top. I hope it's enough. It should be enough. Should be. Should be. I'm just hoping my potatoes ain't burning. Uh oh. There you go, everybody. <clears throat> we got this thing. We got this thing going. We got the Weber firing up. You see outside. All right, everybody. We got the Weber fired up. She run a little hotter than I like. She's running about four uh, four thirty. But we got that uh, our pulled pork on our pulled pork cornbread pot pie dish. So we're gonna go ahead and cook this up. <laughs> We'll get back to you when we get it off the kettle. All right, back. It's been about half hour. I'm actually I'm pretty impressed with the way this thing looks. It smells great. Take a look at this thing. Look at that. You can smell the, it's incredible. And you smell the, the cornbread. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and um, <clears throat> we'll get this thing off. We'll leave it rest for about 10, 15 minutes and we'll get back to you with a taste test. Everybody, we'll let this thing rest for about 15 minutes. This thing is smelling good. You can smell the, it's incredible. It's like a, a garlic baked potato kind of ranch deal. Huh? So they're gonna cut, cut into this thing, see what we got. It smells good, I put that, I put, uh, some cheese on top with the remainder of the cheddar cheese on top, or the mozzarella cheese on top. And I took a little Cimarron Docks barbecue rub and put it on top there. It smells good though. It does smell good. You're so full from dinner. Yeah. I wish we got a cake turner or something. Let's see what we got. With our pulled pork. Mmm, man, that smells good. There we go. Give a shot of that, baby. Down in there. Y'all can see that pretty good there. Wow. Smells good. You smell the pork and the, it's incredible, and the Cimarron Docks and the cheese. And then I put a little more pot belly rub. I did a review on the pot belly. On the pot belly barbecue rub I showed you that I put on the shoulder, uh, I'll leave. A, I did a review on the ribs. I'll leave a link up in the description, uh, up in the i card above, and um, that's a local barbecue rub um, people. But um, let's give this thing a try here. Put some pork on there today. Looks well, good. It's still nice and hot. Mmm. Wow. That's pretty damn good right there, folks. That's good. Again, you know, best recipes for pulled, leftover pulled pork. You want to try a bite, babe? Mm. 
Uh 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 no. Have dodge. Come up here. Come on. Stand up. You gotta stand. Say hi everybody. Hi everybody. Everybody this is dodge. We give you a little taste here. You can tell everybody what you think. Hold on. He's already a bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Are you ready? Do you like it? What can you taste? He, excuse me. He don't like chewing. He don't like talking with mouth folks. He'll, he'll point to his mouth. You know, give me a, what do you do when you like something though and you can't talk? <laughs> all right guys we're gonna go ahead and uh, we already had dinner we're all busting at the seams but i can tell we got someone back here ready to tear into this thing so um we're gonna go ahead and divvy this thing out to the family again i'll leave all the things i used um in the description box i'll put the uh i don't know i showed you but the recipe won't be down there but the, like the barbecue rub and the and the choking on smoke check out jason style's uh, facebook page and um, until next time, everybody, see you later.